Hi, good evening guys. Welcome to the price action analysis of Nifty and Bank Nifty. This is the 9th of November 2022 and we will start analyzing how Nifty and Bank Nifty did. We'll do that together today. Okay, we'll uh, analyze Nifty and Bank Nifty together because Bank Nifty and Nifty were kind of in sync after a while. But initially, after the day opened, you can see how it opened above the R1 daily pivot in both Nifty and Bank Nifty. So what happens here is the location is important the location of the open is important the look uh, the location is above the r1 in both nifty and bank nifty correct and if you had seen then in previous session that was uh, the previous session was on the monday and today is the wednesday so we had a holiday on the tuesday so in the previous session we had traders who had gone long here why had they gone long because they had seen this rally here and what is the basic psychology of all retail traders the psychology of all retail traders is to i mean those who are inexperienced in the market is to actually catch this uh, running train so i keep telling you not to run behind a train right I, I keep telling you not to run behind price so never run behind price what they do is they basically want to uh, ensure that they catch catch this trend first so they enter somewhere here and then after they enter the price just keeps going sideways then it goes down they're a little bit happy that the price has gone down and suddenly price reverses takes their SL. Now because their SL has gone somewhere here or here, now they go and enter here thinking that their SL is triggered here on the short side. So they should now enter the market to recover the amount. Now again they enter and the market goes up and it closes here. So at least they don't make a loss there. But there are certain traders who will be uh, long here who would have held long positions. And they know that tomorrow is that is the next day is a holiday. So holding the long positions will give them theta and I'm specifically talking about option sellers and what is the psychology of option sellers personally me, me, me being a cycle uh, uh, an option seller helps me because I know the psychology of an option seller now somebody who is holding an option a put option in this kind of a market what kind of where will he sell it so maybe he'll go and sell a straddle for 18200 or maybe he's already sold a straddle at 18100 but when the price actually went ahead and Let's see i'll just scale it this scale this for you i'll show you where 18100 is so you can see that 18100 is here right so at this level 18100 so whoever had opened straddles in these this kind of price action seeing that this price action was sideways since it went upwards now the call side was giving losses so they had open put positions so 18100 and 18200 is where there must have been a lot of straddle positions right and there are people who open strangles also so they will go and uh, write options out of the money and uh, that is a, a call out of the money and put out of the money so when price starts to fall and it falls drastically like this what happens here is when price opens outside it closes inside in the very next candle and then it keeps falling down comes to the cpr and then starts to trade in a particular tight zone now here once it enters the zone whoever had gone long yesterday that is the day before yesterday on monday starts to panic here and so the 18200 level is challenged the 18100 level is not yet challenged but the 18200 level is challenged so what do you think they will do they will want to close their positions as quickly as possible but fortunately for them the price starts to trade in a specific zone now let's mark the zone see till here price came it made a low here and after that it did not make any low so I mean for a long time so here this becomes the rectangle in which it is trading now here you can see that below this only this candle uh, closes but that is also not a very strong close that is a very weak close then price takes support and goes up so then what should you do you should include that candle inside the box so which is the candle this is the candle right so we will go ahead and mark the level from here to here okay we'll be marking the level like this so basically the level will be from this candles low here which from where the uh, from from here actually from where we saw that the lower lows had stopped forming so the initial low of the range would be here at this point and this would be the initial high this point and then these two candles tried to break through i mean this one green candle tried to break through but could not break through and after that you can see that there is an immediate red candle then price again came back into the same uh, box kept trading within the box then these two small wicks were formed but price did not close on the upside and then i had said that if price tends to go down from here 
then imagine what would happen to all these put sellers so price did go down from there so initially i had tweeted or i had sent it on telegram i, I don't remember where but i had said that there is no point going short here after a 100 point drop i am not going to short here why did i say that because if i go and short here i know that if price goes into a consolidation and then it takes another push like it took or the previous that is on monday in the previous session then the short covering rally is going to move against me and it's going to be a very very big rally uh, and again here you could see that the price action did not really go up but after that i said that i mean after i saw that there was a consolidation i also put out the message that now the story has changed after this longer consolidation now even a break on the downside might trigger a lot of stop losses on the downside so as you know i keep trading on i, I keep trying to fish out trap traders right because it is the best way to make money in this market and trust me it works every time so you should just know price action i mean see nothing works in the market every time but it obviously works a more number of times and it has a very high probability of winning so this strategy of trying to find out trap traders you will understand only if you learn price action so what does price action tell you here you should understand that there is a consolidation here means what what does this consolidation mean means there are sellers here and there are buyers here correct now these buyers are not letting the price go down and these sellers are not letting the price go up so these sellers have placed buy orders on the top and these buyers have placed sell orders on the top wherever these orders are triggered the price should fall to that side is that not right and now go to bank nifty so when nifty had already fallen 100 points from here to here bank nifty after opening had gone barely 200 points and bank nifty 200 points in bank nifty is nothing right so bank nifty had basically been trading in a very tight range throughout the day to day there was nothing except for this one particular candle nothing came down and again this candle was when nifty was still within the cpr so if you can see this candle it was these this candle here which was still within the cpr so going short at cpr i've always cautioned you against that don't do that how much ever you are itching to because till then you would have seen that there was a nice consolidation here right so how much ever you are itching to go short on this candle don't do that because it is still above this uh, the central pivot it hadn't even tested the bottom central and now you can see here on this particular uh, bank nifty price action that bank nifty was continuously trading within a particular zone here it wasn't allowing i mean price wasn't allowed to fall from there which is a very positive sign in bank nifty bank nifty almost touched 42000 today just a bit short so you can see that this is an open is equal to high candle let me just point that candle out to you so if you see this candle it is the open and the close uh, sorry open is equal to high candle where the open and the high are at 4139.75 and such candles are very strong so if you see a breakout from this region tomorrow then we might see an upside movement from uh, upwards that is uh, up to the 40 41 uh, i mean above the 42000 level so the 42,000 level is important. So don't just, I mean, if you see this kind of a candle here, which does not close above the 42,000 level, then don't just go long blindly. Check whether price has actually closed above the 42,000 level. The 42,000 will definitely act as a very important psychological resistance now. And what happened here later? So Bank Nifty was not allowed to go down here by bulls. You can see these wicks here, all these wicks. Can you see this strong wicks on the bottom? Every time Bank Nifty tried to go down, these wicks were formed. Every time Bank Nifty tried to go down, there were wicks. So these wicks you tell, uh, wicks tell you a story. So you should always ensure that you actually understand the story. You should always understand what story the buyers and sellers are trying to tell you. And as you can see here, Bank Nifty kind of eventually because of Nifty's selling pressure in this particular uh, breakdown kind of showed us a back to back red candle breakdown here but then immediately it were it recovered again uh, the fact that nifty had bank nifty actually came down later this was very late so obviously you should not trade very late here and uh, this was after what time this was after 3 pm so bank nifty did come down from there and you can see that the days low here in bank nifty was at this point this was the days low and right up till the days low the price was being supported you can see here once twice thrice and finally price break down from the days low so here the sellers finally over overcame the bulls that was 
inconsequential because it was the uh, EOD that was the end of the day and here after nifty broke down from the CPR and this candle it was very late by the time nifty broke down it was 2.40 pm so usually I will tell you that breakouts that come after 2.40 pm don't usually sustain usually a fall or a drop like that towards one side I mean it is not a very common occurrence it might happen but it's not a very common occurrence now see here after a hundred point fall stop going short here wait for this kind of a consolidation if you see price action consolidating in this area and then a breakout occurs then take a, either an upside trade or a downside trade so don't start I mean stop running behind price start being patient start learning to I mean learn to start sitting around in the market a trader if you were to ask me should sit around 90% of the times and he should be looking to trade only 10% of the times and it's going to give you satisfaction also because you have you have patiently worked on your trading style you've patiently worked on reading the price so read markets like that just because you see a big body red candle here has it closed below the pre previous day low why are you thinking of going short here you go short at the close of this candle and then you are trapped the entire day, day you think that there is no movement in price uh, except for the fact that if you're an option seller then you'll be really happy to keep the SL up here but then you're not going to make too much money you know it, the, the risk reward is really bad here I mean if you were to short this candle, where would you take your profit if you were to short here you'll have to probably wait for the end of the day to take your profit somewhere here and what was the level like here so the level was somewhere around 41800 and you would uh, take profit at where maybe let's say you wouldn't sit to the end of the day right so your profit booking would be somewhere in the 320 candle maybe that would be somewhere around uh, 41770 so maybe you would make maximum 30 points profit in the day for sitting around the entire day so that is why I keep telling you don't short these candles these are not the candles to go short on these are not to uh, I mean this candle is very big first thing second thing it has a very big wick on the bottom which is a closing and this candle is closing above the PDH which means that even though it has broken the R1 pivot it is not going it has not yet broken the PDH so this first candle has not had the strength to break the previous break into the previous day's zone and that means that there are a lot of buyers in this place obviously because the first candle otherwise would have closed right inside because this wick was at least at some point a red candle right this wick was I mean this first candle was at least at some point like this so it was a strong red candle right then wow what happened that it could not close uh, inside the previous day's range because the buyers were giving support there and then when you see such a long wick you should plot a line like this just plot a line like this simple plot a line and wait for the price to retest that line you can see here that there was a retest you can see here there was a retest but here price went up gradually and then it again started crashing down so in nifty if you see price I actually stayed sideways before it tried to break the upside here but could not break it and then clearly it broke down but then these breakdowns when they come so late you should definitely avoid them so let's see what kind of price action do we have here do we have any important levels now let's go to the nifty screen alone is there any important price action uh, I mean a level that we should be marking the only important level I think we should mark is the supply zone here so we should just mark it in red here the high of the candle because it is an important red candle here because uh, now you can see that this particular uh, day's low is intact and there is a new high here so we are uh, now caught between a particular range let me take you to the daily time frame and I'll tell you the range here you can see now that we are in a particular range here this is the low that is important this candle is low and this candle's high is important so this will be the range now what is the high here it is 18296 and the low here you can see is 18064 so what you can do is you can roughly put a range of around 200 points and say that this 18100 to 18300 point range uh, that is 18300 that is a 200 point range is a very important range in nifty now so nifty has to break out from, from this zone or break down from this zone then we will see an, a downside movement if it breaks up from this so breaks out from that zone then we might see, see an upside movement but 18100 and 18300 have now become very important as far as nifty go let's go to the five minute time frame again 
and uh, I don't see any virgin CPR to be marked today. We have a we have another average size CPR tomorrow, which is wider than today, but it is not exactly uh, very narrow, and it's not also very wide. So it's an average size CPR. Okay, now let's go to Bank Nifty and let's see what kind of levels do we have on Bank Nifty now. Bank Nifty, they, we, we had this uh, supply zone here at 14.840, which we had marked from previous price action, which we need to delete now. There is no reason to keep it there since we've seen price action around it. And now Bank Nifty has traded in a very tight range today. The range for Bank Nifty here for today is somewhere around less than 300 points, 280 to be exact. So this range is very tight now for Bank Nifty. So we want to, I mean, if we see any movement, as I said, above the 42,000 level, then we might see a, some upside movement now. But I believe the 42,000 level is going to strong uh, stand as a strong resistance. Uh, we'll have to see what happens if the market gaps up again tomorrow and Bank Nifty opens above the 42,000 level tomorrow. Tomorrow being the expiry, you have to be careful. I don't think that uh, we will see a big rally from the 42,000 upwards level. So even if we cross 42,000, we might see that there is a drop from there. So now let's mark this virgin CPR. We do have one in Bank Nifty, although we do not have that in Nifty. Bank Nifty has traded through the throughout the entire session above this virgin CPR. Guys, even if you mark CPR alone on the charts, that's also going to be enough. Okay, You don't have to plot the daily pivots also. You can work on the virgin CPR also. That's a very strong supply uh, sub support and resistance uh, zone so uh, you don't if you're not using the pivot points that's also fine the extended pivots at least the main virgin cpr and the cpr should be marked and we will go to the daily time frame now let's see what do we have on the daily time frame so we have another candle which is closing above the previous high in uh, today's price action you can see that the close is here what is the previous uh, to previous high that is 4177.40 and today's closing is 47, 41783. So 83, 79 and 83. So obviously we have closed above the previous high, which gives us a good sign. So which means that in spite of the fact that it is a red candle, it is closing above the previous high and we also have lower high, uh, higher lows, sorry, from here, from this point on. So after we have broken this consolidation phase here, Bank Nifty is still trading above its uh, above this range which is an important range we never know we might see bank nifty start trading within this range again if we see bank nifty breaking out towards the 42000 level and then taking resistance so i think guys we have explained enough about the price action now i hope this is clear for you and i hope you are finding the price action analysis important and interesting also i hope this helps you in your journey towards price action trading Try to learn price action as much as possible. It is the only way to lay a foundation towards a successful trading career. If you know where buyers are, if you know where sellers are, that is going to be enough by itself to uh, make you a successful trader for a long, long time to come. So guys, if you've liked this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new video. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.